I'm here with Sam from uh, the Sun Protocol. Uh, I just randomly met him. And, uh, uh, Sam, can you introduce yourself and speak a bit about your project? Yes, hi, I'm Sam. Um, yeah, um, I, I represent the Sun Protocol, which is a fusion of uh, uh, the renewable movement and crypto movement, um, because we think that with um, renewable energy, we can create, with the help of blockchain, we can create real decentralized um, economies. Mm -hmm. So our um, vision is to create um, uh, token economies in African villages, mm -hmm. um, through, uh, beginning with energy, then introducing um, tokens with uh, with a benefit. We call it the loyalty program. So, uh, it's an energy loyalty program, and people this way learn about wallets, about balances, everything, sending. And um, that actually is, is the beginning for us because then the, the token gets a stable value. Yeah? And we believe that money starts with values and exchanging. So it's used and uh, there's demand and it will become valuable. Well, yeah, we will, the, the token has a fixed um, a value. It's, it's like because we guarantee um, like a, a certain amount of kilowatt hours for it. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the value of the coin is a kilowatt hour. For example, and then we think that people can start exchanging goods and services because it has a stable value they can trust. So, and and from there on, it's, it's their thing. I mean, we talked about self-determination, right? Yes, yeah. And uh, so they they should decide what something is worth and not us. We just want to introduce the technology. And once the, uh, uh, the, the understanding is there, transfer it into the community. And uh, how do you want to fund it? Because initially it has to become a value because you have, like, you have to buy the, the, the energy yep. first and then it becomes a value as a exchange for, for energy. Um, what's the idea of the We have a partner in uh, uh, here in Germany called Africa Green Tech. Mm -hmm. So um, Austin and Aida Schreiber, they founded Africa Green Tech. Mm -hmm. And they have a, 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 what we call, they call a solar container. Mm -hmm. So it's like a ship's container size mm -hmm. solar power station. Okay. Yeah, and it can, it can produce uh, enough power for 4,000 people yeah, uh, in sub-Saharan Africa. And, um, and that's actually our hub we start with. And so our goal is now to, to find the funding for these new yeah, power stations. Uh, we want to buy hundreds of them and then deploy them quickly because we think there's only a certain window of opportunity where we all actually can um, can really create something of meaning with the technology we love. And we think then we have the basis for things like, you know, using Internet of People or uh, Libertaria because this is then the basis that actually um, you have a vision and we have a vision that we just start down in an African village and you start here and then yeah, globally, yeah, and then we can connect, exactly. Um, what do you think how um, uh, uh, open are people in Africa to, to crypto? Because, for example, I, I've heard that uh, there are many people that even don't have a bank account, so they are completely away from, from the money system that we have. Do you think they, they, they will welcome this idea, or do you, do you think they will also come, come along with it? Because, it's, uh, as you know, uh, crypto is still more complicated than a bank account. I think uh, uh, all humans are quite equal in a certain way, and the way where we are equal is we change things only if we have a pain Definitely. or if we get a gain, mm -hmm. right? Yes, so, so that's basic it, fundamental. Exactly, right? So um, just because we say crypto is great, people will not adapt crypto, neither here nor in Africa. Um, but if we start to think about the benefits crypto can offer and start the benefit-oriented communication, then I think that the adoption is possible. And that's why we're starting the loyalty program, right? Okay. Because to get the loyalty, to get a bit more energy for free, yeah, you have to deal with crypto. You have to install a wallet in the village, I mean, the African village, right? You have to install the wallet. They are only doing this, this is our assumption, because they will get a little bit of energy for free. Yeah, it's an incentive. Yeah, it's the game. Yeah, exactly. And so they deal with it, they earn it, and then we start distributing notes. 
step by step, um, either with the great ideas like SM, SM2 here or, or, or in maybe uh, the new consensus. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Uh, <laughs> the new consensus uh, system that you are all also maybe uh, releasing. And um, our goal has to be very cheap loads, right? The cheapest full loads possible. Okay. And so it's realistic. I mean. Yeah, exactly, right? I mean, we have to talk about the price. <laughs> no, but not really, yeah. And then from there on, it's really out and um, let the people do their thing, yeah. Very good. Um, let's talk about uh, our, uh, the, your business in terms of administration. Um, where are you based and how many people are working on the protocol and uh, the idea marketing is that like speak a bit about that? Well, at the moment we are about, uh, the sub protocol is about nine, nine people maybe, nine, ten people, all working pro bono, so everybody working for free. Okay. Um, uh, uh, and some of us, like me, are investing everything they have. Um, and we have Africa Green Tech, our partner, they are about, I'm not sure really, I think about 15, 18, something like that. Um, concentrating on the hardware, the, the, the solar power station, and uh, everything connected with that. And we are focused completely on the crypto side, like uh, right, how to and how to connect them, um, like the smart meters that you need for the electricity uh, distribution, connect smart contracts in the solar panel. So there are a lot of issues, and there we have uh, my partner Shetnam Musichka, who is in the Bundesbank, uh, Bundesbank blockchain, this association of uh, blockchain in Germany. No, it's a, it's a it's a, a kind of a blockchain lobby group. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 not government, but trying to educate the government here in Berlin. Um, and so she's there, she's in the energy working group, and so she's, she's really a pusher, <laughs> really yeah, uh, uh, hardcore. Uh, so um, yeah, that's the team, and then there are a lot of people uh, helping us, uh, two are here, with Farmaro and Sebastian, um, and supporting us uh, wherever they can. And so, um, so we're not as quick as a uh, well-funded uh, project at the moment, but we will get there. So now we, I think we have the concept, we have everything ready, finished, a thought through. And um, we are actually now starting to look for investors like, to help us get the seed funding to, to actually get uh, uh, visibility and then um, right. somehow figure out how to get, get the project going. Yeah. As I just uh, mentioned the buzzword government, uh, I was thinking um, people um, just emancipate. So yeah. the, the government loses power and then the authorities Do you think that uh, the local people there will uh, have to um, um, uh, have to fight against the government and then defend their right to just um, independent or do, you, or do you think they will wait? Uh, as you see in uh, Venezuela, for example, if you, if you uh, come up with a crypto project, um, it's, uh, you might go to jail or whatever. I, I think it will depend, right? Uh, I think at the beginning we will be small and uh, yeah, nobody under cares. The radar. Yeah, under the radar. And, uh, and, and we're focusing on people that have, don't have access to stable electricity at the moment. We can only produce electricity by using diesel generators. Yeah, in sub-Saharan Africa, um, which just sucks. Um, but yeah, there is the there is the possibility that there are interests um, that we disturb yeah, at a certain point, or um, that the people in the villages get power for themselves, which is not maybe something people want. But we think in the long run uh, uh, we will find solutions, and I think. Also, we, we don't look often very deep into Africa. We only hear refugee crisis and everything. But there are like digital hubs in Rwanda, Nigeria, Kenya, like popping up. There, there, there are governments, yeah, there are governments like in Senegal or others, uh, where the, 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 the governments are really, really proactive, are really, really trying to leapfrog Africa or their their people. And um, of course, there are power. To, I mean, it's like it's here. Everywhere, yeah, it's but same here. We, yeah. we have to, we have to just and do we it will and struggle. don't think we will about struggle. it. Exactly, but we have to get there, right? And we don't. Definitely. Otherwise, you stop doing anything because you're scared, and then we have to get there, and then we have to deal with them, and then try to figure out with them, um, right? Uh, maybe they're validators in the future. It's the same idea with Bataria IOP. Actually, we thought like we have to fight the government and just uh, 
um, uh, that, that they have to, to um, uh, go away. Yeah. But uh, now we just think it's, it's a parallel system and people, as they said, the gains, they, they just benefit from it and they, they use it and make the government um, super flower with it. So, it's, uh, so we can do both. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to like, like fight and revolution. So maybe you just do, do it better and the more people join it, so the, the more likely it becomes reality. I think, yeah, uh, I mean, I, I'm not a full libertarian, so for me, uh, the perf for me, there's still something like a perfect government, uh -huh. and that's if the people actually really, really have control over it, right? Mm -hmm. I think the only thing that is broken is actually that we never had this kind of government where we had control over, right? Because it's <laughs> as, as soon as it gets complex, it's big, I, I the community know. gets big, then you have to include some structures that just um, detach yourself from 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 your How representations. Powerful. Yeah, and, and that's so awesome. When you give yeah. somebody power, so yeah, you will. Yeah. At some point, definitely yeah. abuse it. I think uh, uh, at the end, we have to just ensure that every human being can live like they choose to. Exactly. I'm totally and, and, uh, agree with yeah. You. Um, do you want to say something? Uh, something important, like? Uh, oh yeah, I, I have a great one. All right. May the proof change lives, not charts. Yeah. <laughs> like you know,